Hey guys, it's Adam EK Swimming Bird, and welcome to Splatoon 2 on Nintendo Switch. This is the fifth of six Global Test Fire demo events. We are almost done, so let's get in and get some matches in the time that we have here. And it's been long enough with these demos, you know, five out of six, that's five hours, or four hours with the game. A little bit more if you count previous experience. And uh, we've got a lot of thoughts on things, and I want to share some of the thoughts you guys have been adding in the comments of the other test fires. So if you didn't miss any of those, definitely check those out, please. We're going to have plenty of Splatoon 2 footage, so you can see lots of uh, lots of Muscle Forge fitness, lots of the Reef, the two new maps, as well as... Ooh, first time th I think I got that message. Uh, lots of uh, the new Splat Duelies and the, the weapons that are returning that have new specials and whatnot. Lots of thoughts on the specials to share tonight. I think that I want to talk about those, since those are uh, pretty divisive. I've seen, but hopefully we'll jump into a match here. Starting a little early, just because the the uh, test fire tends to get going before the hour. There we go. We're already almost in a match. Let's do some uh, remix in here before we get into it. Thank you guys for hanging out. If you want to leave a like, I know this is preemptive, but I usually say that at the end. But I do appreciate everybody hanging out with me for the stream. If you're watching it later, that's also very appreciated. <laughs> okay, so... Let's talk about some stuff that I saw in the comments, because you guys have had a lot of thoughts. You've had either the time to play it as well, or at least watching it. So, uh, well, first I wanted to mention a, uh, a big comment from Chow Walker. They've been hanging out in the, the streams, and they were talking about the specials, because I had a lot of thoughts about the Splatoon 1 specials, and how I kind of felt like they, they really changed the tide of the match a little too much. And with Splatoon 2, you can definitely see they have rebalanced their completely new specials, but the risk is that maybe these ones just are too risky to use. So as we get into the match, we're going to see some of them pop up. And we'll see how this goes with the first match here. And whether most of the people that use their special end up on the wrong end of that first exchange. And that's what I've seen some people talk about. Chow Walker specifically was saying, it might actually be good to just save your special. Maybe use it for an ink refill if you need it. But having your special and using it in a lot of cases with most of the specials, can amount to you getting splatted because you become a big target, or at least you leave yourself pretty open for uh, someone to go after you. Not sure where the other team is. I haven't seen any of their ink yet. They're kind of leaving the middle open. They're all in here. They might just be hanging out at the spawn point and squidding around. Oh, no, there's some over here. Okay, let's see if we can get somebody with a curling bomb as they get over this little part here. Yeah, they're having a rough time. So speaking of specials, Let's use one. I'm going to use my inkjet and see if we can get out on top of that. There we go. So yeah, the, the specials in Splatoon 2, they've definitely been rebalanced to be a lot riskier to use. They're still pretty strong, but at the same time, like the inkjet there, you can see you're putting yourself as this giant target up in the air for people to take you out. There's other elements that people haven't been using as much as they could with uh, being able to actually... I'm going to try to dip out of this, get some more room. The, uh, the ability to go into squid form when you're using your... Inkjet. I haven't been doing that too much, but it will lower you down. I thought I saw someone over here. I guess they got out. Oh, someone's right there. Let's take them out. Yeah, I have a feeling the purple team may be less experienced at the game here, and maybe didn't play Splatoon 1 so much, because they're, they're having a tough time. Uh, so yeah, the, uh, the thing I was talking about with the Inkjet, it's like, you know, you put yourself up in the air, easily sniped from a charger who knows what they're doing, and can, can take you out before you, you know, really know that they're watching you, that sort of thing, but you can squid to dodge out of the way, and then there's the splashdown on the roller, which you can get sniped right out of that, we've seen that, we're just getting hit by it, it's pretty easy to just get taken out, let's use this one more time here, and uh, try to get over there, up onto their spot, I guess, we're gonna jump back pretty soon anyways, but throw that down, oh, there we go, uh, but yeah, so... Uh, I think the Tenta Missiles, the one on the, the Splatter Shot, seems to be one of the less risky ones. If you just kind of throw it out there, you'll probably be okay. And then we have, of course, the Stingray on the Charger, which is uh, one that has been pretty tough for people to actually land kills with because it has that really slow turn and everything. So the specials in this game definitely balanced in a way that... Oh, they're going to throw that splash down. Definitely balanced in a way where they're not going to make you invincible, you know, literally, there's not, like, the bubbler or anything like that, and they're gonna, they're gonna take a lot of the finesse to actually use successfully, which I like, you know, I'd rather have maybe underpowered specials that are a little bit less, uh, useful in all situations than have some that are really, I feel like, you know, changing the course of the match in a major way, but at the same time, <laughs> yes, 
took a bunch of shots from that. Definitely not as powerful as the Ink Zuka. So yeah, at the same time, I don't know uh, what the general opinion is from most people about the specials. I want to see what you guys think, because I could see people looking at Splatoon 2 compared to Splatoon 1 and uh, saying, hey, these specials are not as strong and maybe that's a downgrade. To me, balancing them is, is better because it relies more on your skills with your normal weapon, but at the same time, I could see people not liking the switch to all new specials that are maybe not as uh, as powerful in ways. And even thinking back, the developers did a lot of balancing in Splatoon 1. They made it tougher to build up your special or hold on to your meter. Thinking about the specials when the game came out, like how much a lot of them got nerfed over time, you could tell they were really struggling to, to find a balance. And we'll see, yeah, I have a feeling these new specials are going to get changed after this test fire because they might see how many people are easily, you know, even without much experience with the game, it's it's not too tough to take someone out who's using one of them. And the example I saw Chow Walker, yeah, talking about how I was just kind of dodging out of the way of a Tenta missile and an inkjet and still managed, and when I used my special, that was when somebody took me out, it's like... You make yourself a big target, and, uh, the other, yeah, I think the the fact that uh, I play a close-range weapon a lot of time in Splatoon has maybe, I'm, I'm pretty sure it has, changed my opinion on a lot of the specials, because something like the Ink Zuka, the Bubbler, it can be really frustrating if someone just throws that out when I'm trying to get close, because they'll either completely block my, uh, my efforts to actually get in there on them, or they're gonna you know, be able to take me out before I can even get close enough to, to do damage. So I, I definitely feel like my my strat of using the brushes and other close-range weapons is probably flavoring my uh, opinion on a lot of the specials in Splatoon 1, so I'll admit that, of course. But but yeah, I do feel like the fact that you can pull out, you know, the Ink Zuka, you can pull that out and instantly really get a, uh, a fast one-hit kill blast is, uh, is something that seems like it can be a little too powerful at times, I don't know, and then the bubbler, yeah, the bubbler, those two are probably the ones that I complain about more, just because I feel like being able to completely, like, mess up somebody's efforts to take you out by making yourself invincible can be kind of frustrating to deal with, but at the same time, there's always, you know, something that Chow Walker, Walker brought up is that there are counters to all this stuff. There we go, somebody, there's a good example. They had a splashdown, we were close, they might have taken us out, but someone splatted them before they could even get it to actually be used, you know, it became something more of a liability. It made them a huge target right in the middle of where we were messing around. Let's throw one of those down. They're gonna go right into it. Oh, nope, not quite. Somebody's trying to get me with an ink. Oh, no, no. Ah, they're above me. Maybe time to jump back. <laughs> I booyahed instead because I accidentally pull, pulled my map up. Oops. I was trying to. No, I accidentally put my map away, is what happened. So, anyways, if hopefully this is making sense, the, the debate about the specials because trying to focus on firing and talking about them. I hope I'm I'm coming across, you know, I, I think I, uh, I agree with a lot of the points. Even though I do prefer the new specials in a lot of ways, I could see people having problems with them not feeling like they're that useful. And especially if you get a special and you're like, oh man, I should just not use this at all. That's not what the developers want, I don't think. They want you to be able to use these and actually have fun with them. There we go. We got some, like three ink jets going on at once there. So that was cool, but I think people are going to get better with the new specials as time goes on, obviously, so it won't be as much of a, like, oh, they are not as strong. Once we get practice, then it'll be a thing where they'll be used much more. Saw someone right there. There they are. Oop, let's roll back and try to hit them. There we go. Chase, I got to get my dually aim down. We got so many people all over the place trying to get in here and take us out that having a tough time guarding the center. It feels like the blue team is really coming back. They were not doing so hot at the beginning. Throw one of those in. Take that guy down. Maybe jet back. Yeah, can't go over a grate with the ink jet. There's another big weakness. So let's go to the chat since we're between matches here. And I'll see what you guys think because yeah, a lot of people talking about the specials a lot. I think the other big thing uh, with these early maps, people are like, they're too compact. There's it feels a little bit like there's not enough room, but I think that's just an issue with the fact that these are starter maps. It's like Walleye Warehouse, where it's not meant to be super spread out to, to start, you know. Let's do one more with the dualies, and then we'll switch weapons. Uh, let's see. Do you think it, Nintendo... Ninja Bo says, do you think uh, Nintendo will get in trouble with printer companies for the name Inkjet? I don't know if that... I don't think that's copyrighted, or else they probably wouldn't have used it. Chatwalker's in the chat, so they've been, yeah, in all these streams... And uh, they're talking about the Splutionmatic, and they feel like 
the they're talking about the yeah the the range on the dualies is kind of short but if you play a short range weapon like a splushomatic then it will probably feel not that you know you got a little more range to work with with this thing I can, I can just see people with uh, swim speed up going all over the place with the dualies and just ducking and diving everywhere as they ink up stuff so we'll see when when some of the really good players uh, get a hold of some of these weapons it's gonna be crazy to see how fast they can just dip around especially when we get abilities right now we're just using the uh, the base abilities that are in the test fire here Make someone right there oh man now they're getting out of the way and I'm gonna duck down oh I didn't have much time to do that but I wanted to duck down out of the way see, there they are oh they jumped out of the way yeah so it, sometimes it looks like they're blasting you know I get I get them or something but then they uh, they duck they fly back because their their inkjet explodes and then that was another example of the splashdown. That player actually lost their uh, setup there. They didn't. Ooh, careful. There we go. I got him with one of the curling bombs. They uh, they lost their splat. They had their splashdown, but it didn't really help them at all. It just made it so that they got in trouble and they were a huge target jumping up in the air. So the splashdown at least is like maybe save that for when you're super jumping. Maybe uh, not. I was just inking turf with that inkjet there mostly. Someone over here. And duck in and get them before they get away. There we go. I gotta, eat, I gotta get my rolls worked in more, but I'm always worried about running out of ink. I can't wait to get Ink Saver Main on the dualies here, because that's gonna help out a lot with being able to actually roll around and do more. There they go. Ooh, somebody else is on the way over. Yeah, this is tough, because we got ooh, so many <laughs> curling bombs flying from other dually players. They got two dualies on their side. I do really, the curling bombs have grown on me a lot. I feel like I'm, it's going to take a little more practice to get more exact with the aim on them, but at the same time, I'm having a lot of fun using them. And, uh, let's see if I can get the guy over there. But you can, yeah, go into squid form and get a good, uh, dip from your inkjet and get out of harm's way. It's just a matter of getting used to that. There we go. It seems like sometimes people are trying to shoot the curling bomb and, uh, doesn't quite work out. He's gonna get out of here before he can take me down, but then I couldn't get him either. Are they in the... I mean, the bridge is, uh, in a bad way for us. Someone's gonna... See if we can dip in and shoot whoever's around. Somebody's on the way over. Let's charge this a little, and then... Nope! <laughs> a little too far away from that. Ah, man! Everybody's in that one spot! Yeah, charging the curling bomb means it explodes faster. So that's tough. It's a little weird to get used to, but definitely uh, useful if somebody's super jumping in. Okay, quick, quick, quick. We need to get in here and get a lot of this turf coverage. I might be able to get one more inkjet, but that's not going to get me much turf, unfortunately, compared to uh, if I just fired normally. I feel like I'd be better off doing that instead. Oh, if we can... Yep, we got one more, and I, I did cover a decent amount there. Oh, this is going to be close. We got some of our side area as well in the center. Yeah, all right. Knocked out that cute little kitten. That's another comment that I saw was uh, Jaden actually was like, J that we should call that little cat JJ, at least until we get a name, because it's Judd Jr. That's a good nickname for him. Uh, yeah, let's see. So Sally is saying that they uh, they might be around anchovy size, the maps, and uh, especially Muscle Forge is kind of close to that. That makes sense if, yeah, we don't have probably any exact measurements or anything yet. It's before We can't really mess around in the stages too much. We got to jump into a match, but eventually we'll be able to, you know, jump in spectator mode or jump in the, uh, I can't remember what it's called where you, where you look around a map, but the, uh, the ability to just kind of mess around in there and get a better look at everything. Um, Ernest says, what do you hate about Splatoon? I think a lot of the things that uh, my gripes about Splatoon, they are fixing with this one. It's the, the special argument though, that I think the final point that I kind of realized with all the, the debate going back and forth is that I don't, uh, there's got to be some middle ground, I think. Maybe the specials are too weak in this game at times. Maybe the specials in Splatoon 1 are too strong. I think they're still going to balance that out and maybe find a nice middle ground. And I, I do, I do want to see the specials be something that is useful. You want to use them, but also is not going to, yeah, completely. If the full team all launches their specials, it's always, yeah, unfortunate with matches that can just completely be decided by everyone saving them up and using them for a big push in Rainmaker or whatnot, so we'll see how it goes. Again, yeah, a lot of my experience is from playing more close-range weapons, so you can see that's why I have certain preferences for specials and uh, 
and which ones I don't want to see so much. Let's see if they would get over there. Man, Curling Bomb, bigger blast than you might expect just from seeing it. Somebody's going for those Penta Missiles. Let me see if I can get in there and get them before they get around here. Oh, there they are. Yeah. I had no ink left, but I managed to survive that. We are in a bad way here. Oop. See if I can get enough ink to. Oh, I got to get out. Got to get out. Oh, jeez. Got to try to get around here and take out one of these. Ooh, there's a curling bomb. No, no, no. Ooh. Ah, <laughs> yeah, that was really bad. I should have used my splashdown. I didn't realize I had it at the time. But that would have been uh, would have been better to escape, maybe super jump out of there, because that was couldn't get a, couldn't get away from the curling bomb and the player that was behind me at the same time. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to keep one eye on the chat if I have time, but it is really tough in a frantic game like this. Ah, I really thought I had them there. But luckily, we got a nice sound effect. Uh, luckily, Gaster, I think that's the one, guys. Yeah, WD, or Caster. Got them. I'm thinking of another thing. All right. <laughs> Let's see if we can go back to where I was and take this bridge. People always going over the one... It feels like that one side is a little more popular than the other for people to head down. There we go. Man. Yeah, the uh, the vertical, vertical flick is uh, a little inconsistent with how fast it splats. We had a ink jet on either side of us. It really feels like uh, it doesn't always work out, even if I'm targeting them. You know, I hit them well enough. Let's see if we can... Nope. <laughs> that was bad. Let's do this. Bam! Oh, no, I didn't get them. Oh, man. That's unfortunate, because I had... I thought I had them, but they backed up. So there's another, yeah, example of the the uh, splashdown, even though I had them in my sights. They got out of the way fast enough, so you really got to throw that out when your opponent's not looking, and then maybe you can hit them a little easier. Mm, this does not look good. <laughs> Lots of green ink, but no green... Uh... There we go. Got one. Okay, good. Got to remember to use my horizontal flick occasionally, though. Got so many people all lined up in one spot. Ooh, get that guy. Oh, man. Ah, see that hit him? It looked like it was a direct hit, but I guess not enough damage if you're too far away, so I, I'm going to predict more, I don't know, they might they might cap it, but I'm going to predict more people will be running damage up on rollers in this if their vertical flick does not do enough damage by default to actually take people down. I'm going to really hurry and get some of the side area. Oh, this is not going to work out. Nope, splash down. <laughs> it was too late. Yeah, green team definitely had that. I don't know if we lost someone or just had, we just had a little bit of a struggle there, but at least that cute cat won. Aw. Yep. Now we get to see... Yeah, I haven't seen too many... I gotta pay more attention to the animations. He's just like, oh man. Grabbing his face. Isaac struggled to get some splats there, unfortunately. We had a pretty balanced team, though. Let's do another one with a roller, but maybe a fresh lobby. And I get some more time to uh, check out the chat. Let's see. Feel the story mode's gonna be awesome, says Octopuns. Yeah, I'm really excited to see where they're gonna go with that. Because the first, you know, they were setting the groundwork with the first game. Like a lot of movies and, and games and different stuff, it's like... I, usually the first one just kind of sets up the whole concept. And the second one, if they can keep up the level of quality, tends to be better, you know. And gets into more interesting stuff at the time, you know. They get they get more to, to explore in terms of new concepts and stuff, because they're not worried about explaining everything to people as much. But at the same time, this is a good one to jump into if you haven't played before, because... It's going to feel similar to the first, you know, I think it's going to be just as easy to get into. You just have to maybe spend more time in single player to get some more practice to uh, to be able to compete with some of the returning veterans since we've yeah had a couple years now, a lot of people, to play the first game in practice. Gamer Boy says, I want to play you. You might get lucky and jump in here. I've seen so many people be like, hey, I played a match with you. You were on my team or I splatted you. I got lots of screenshots on Twitter from people. Sally wants to see the old spe specials come back. We're at least getting the bomb rush, but in a different launcher form. I have a feeling, I'm actually, as as a brush player, I'm kind of happy to see that maybe the Echo Locator is uh, not on the way back if they're doing all new specials, but we might still get the point sensor. I feel like they would maybe bring that back, but the Echo Locator is just, yeah, if you're trying to play a little stealthy, can be tough to deal with, and that would be a, a kind of indirect buff to the... to the... Uh, Brush. I'm trying to focus here as I get splatted almost. Is somebody sneaking around? Yeah, that's a thing on this map that you gotta be careful for. Is uh, 
the people who are ooh, nope <laughs> the people who are going to go across the middle and kind of swoop around so if you're in this little part down here it's very easy for someone to sneak around and get to you I should try to do that more often splash down yeah get, there was another situation where I tried to use it to get out of the bad situation I was in but it ended up being more to my detriment I really got to remember not to jump if I want to get that horizontal flick down here somewhere, aren't they? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try to get into the middle, or at least back up the guys who are in the middle here. There we go. Oh, where'd he go? Oh, uh, man, there he goes. No, jeez. <laughs> They're out of there, and now I'm in a bad spot. Ah, jeez, I keep being slightly off with my flicks and going past them. This is gonna be a tough match, but I gotta bring it back. Can't give up. Okay, go, go, go. Yeah, now I'm using the roller. I should really be trying to super jump more, even if the map is small. Super jumping to people is a great use of the, the uh, splashdown. I just have to remember to use it when I have it charged, because otherwise I'm going to not be able to... Yeah, if I'm, I'm using it super jumping only when I respawn, then I'm not going to be able to ever do the splashdown that way. Ooh. He's got the vertical flick on me. Just jump up and splash down while they're so close. They have so much time to get out of the way, so yeah, it's like, if you're not doing that while super jumping, it might be really tough to ever catch anyone. Even in this early stage, it feels like the, uh, oh, jeez, barely got out of there, and there's someone right next to me already. Put that down and maybe try to get, there we go. Oh, oh, they're backing up a little bit. Oh, they had a suction bomb there waiting for me. See if we can get them as they sneak around here. Where did they go? Somebody got them. Okay, good, good, good. Time to lock down this side area best I can. Someone. Oop, I got stuck on that box. I keep being like slightly to the right of the person that I want to hit. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, jeez. Friendly bomb hit me, and then uh, I fell into a bad spot there. Okay, this could be a good time to. Uh, nope, I don't want to use my super jump that way. Where do we want to go? Don't have time. <laughs> I was like, what's a good spot to splash down? I had no time to, to decide, but we won anyways. All right. Let's see. So, Missy wants to see, yeah, use the vertical flip, flick as a path for yourself if you're in trouble. Definitely a good way to get out of there faster because you cover more ground, you know, in a straight line to, to squid away. I got to get used to, yeah, trying to make sure I uh, start the flick before I jump if I want to get the horizontal one and do more damage closer up because that's... Really messing with me. All the you know time spent with Splatoon One, you have to retrain your your brain. Let's see. Ernest uh, Ernest Gaming says I hope there's more Switch in stock soon. They're definitely restocking stuff. I think they've said they want to ship like 16 to 20 million by the end of the year. So there's definitely going to be more in stores. I'm sure that'll be readily available before Splatoon Two comes out. At least it's one of those things that happens with Nintendo sometimes where they don't really they kind of underestimate the stock for the first thing and then. Eventually, it won't be so tough to get. Uh, the splash box hit down. Ooh, I missed that. The chat's going by pretty quick here with lots of comments. Splash down hit box goes around walls, doesn't it? Says Chat Walker. Maybe next time try to do it on the other side of a wall. Yeah, I managed in one of the streams to uh, catch someone on the reef. I did the splash down underneath the bridge and I caught someone on top of it, which is pretty cool to see that, yeah, it does extend vertically enough where you can get people that way. And uh, let's see. Rank the weapons, says Haven. I still think, yeah, the splatter shot might be the most consistent, reliable one. Charger always seems like the best weapon if you're really good with it. And that's almost like how I feel about these specials where, with the, with people not having much experience with them, they're not, they're seeming a little underpowered, but I almost wonder if, like, a charger it has a high learning curve, and then later on in the, you know, the life cycle of the game, people are just going to be crazy with the, you know, with the specials and taking people out. Uh, why do you like Splatoons? Is Colgan the dog? I... Just outside, you know, not even counting the, the unique gameplay of laying down, you know, your bullets being recharged from the ground that you move on and, and all the movement options and stuff. It's just a really nice, inventive, new style of shooter game. But just, you know, the whole atmosphere, they really managed to make a, a very lovable set of characters and world that you want to go hang out in. The music's amazing. Lots of reasons. So hopefully, yeah. <laughs> there. I wonder if there's someone trying to get into the game, but I'm like, yeah, you guys know that I'm... I like this game a lot because I have made hundreds of videos on it. Let's see. Uh, but yeah, I, I do like the dualies. I, I don't know if they're going to be as strong. Going back to the weapons and ranking them a little bit. 
I don't know if the dualies are going to be as strong as people are thinking, just because they can roll. And uh, this might be a good time to dip out and try to restart this, because sometimes it stalls without having as many people in the lobby there. And then, uh, yeah, the dualies still good. I think with practice they're going to be really good, but the roller I feel like maybe has the biggest buff of the returning weapons, because that that vertical flick is completely changes the what the weapon can do in a lot of ways. And what were we? We were on the roller again. Let's go to the splatter shot. We were just talking about that. Definitely one of the better balanced weapons. If you need practice with a shooter, this is more forgiving because you can stay farther away from your enemies and everything. You should splash down when someone inkjets to Shadow Gaming. Yeah, they might be not be able to get out of the way. Oh yeah, that is smart. The problem with that is if you are underneath them, you have a chance of getting hit by their inkjet. Like, they can actually fly over you. That happened to me one time where they killed me with their jets because they just went over me. And I've seen, yeah, if someone's below you, it definitely doesn't seem worth using your inkjet if they're gonna be just react and knock you out because that, uh, it seems like a bad position to be in. They're as close as possible to you to be able to hit you and you have to aim down at them. But if you manage to have some, you know, if you happen to have somebody below you when you're using your inkjet, you could just try to maneuver over them, potentially, and take them out that way. We have three dualies and a splatter shot here. Let's see if I can get multiple people. I thought there was someone on that other side. So you can see my special meter go down when I use the uh, the Tenta missiles. They're going to run back there, but maybe I can take them out. Yeah. We're not as much range as I would hope for there. Throwing their curling bomb in. Which way are they going? Ooh, they got their inkjet. Okay, let me see if I can get into a good spot here to take them out. They're jumping back anyways. Going up there. My burst but I feel like I'm not using my burst bombs as well as I could a lot of the time. I'm wasting a lot of ink on them. And uh, I should really just be using them to you know, quickly maneuver around and get into position a little bit. We have so many ink jets because of all... There we go, that kind of saved me from the Tenta missile. We've got so many ink jets uh, because of the dualies really dominating the other team. And I saw some Tenta missiles too. That's, uh, that's the one thing with the specials too is a, a lot of the... A lot of them take a little bit to charge up. I don't know the exact point values and everything, but it feels like with the way that the splatter shot covers ground pretty easily, it's uh it works out pretty well to get your Tenta missiles before the others, and they also seem a bit safer just to kind of throw out. As long as no one's right near you, you could probably get someone with the Tenta missiles and not be at a huge risk. Just go with that one because there's somebody down there. So yeah, maybe not the strongest thing in the game, but it uh, does w work out to... <laughs> to uh, allow you to throw out that special really quick as long as somebody's around and you get it out of there before you make yourself a target. Unlike the Stingray, which you can't get out of when you're using, and the Inkjet, you know, which throws you way up above everybody, making it a little tougher to move out of the way. And then the Splashdown, we've seen that a couple times already, someone taking somebody out using the Splashdown before they can maneuver. Got real lucky with that curling bomb there, not taking me out. Okay, good, good, good. We gotta take this bridge. Almost got my Tenta missiles again. So yeah, it really charges fast. It seems like it has a low, low uh, ink rate to charge. Like you don't need as many points to use it. And then once you got it, they might not be able to get out of the bridge in time. So jump down here. Oh, somebody right in my face. Uh, but yeah, the uh, I do like the Tenta missiles a bit more than I originally did because of that. Seems like maybe one of the more safe weapons to uh, use of the specials. Going around the side here. No, we got a lot of this covered. If we can hold it, we should be good. Check the other area. They're respawning. If we can keep this all locked down. Got people moving in. <laughs> Unwanted tenants. Oh, a couple people over there. And they're not going to be able to push fast enough. Yeah, that's my preferred... You know, the inkling I had there. I think that's my favorite style. The box art boy. With the uh, kind of up tentacle do that's new. And then... He has some nice looking clothes too. I like the, the shoes and everything. Looks pretty good. Fingerless gloves, I don't know about those, but <laughs> that probably goes with the shirt. I gotta pay more, I gotta pay attention to the pants though, because that is a new feature, having different pants. And I wonder if we're gonna be able to actually swap those around at will. Now, I know they don't have abilities, they've said that already, but I wonder if we can swap them or they're just gonna be linked to whatever outfit we use. Uh, AC Myers, yeah, the haircut he has is the one I like the most. Me too. Let's see. Uh, Chow Walker says, don't forget the burst bombs are a really good way to ink the walls for maneuvering. Yeah, and he, there's a wall next to the bridge and the, they can go pop up and get to the opponents. I gotta try that. It's definitely, a lot of the time I feel like I could just quickly shoot a little stream of ink with the splatter shot, so 
Without damage up, I haven't been using the burst bombs to attack as much, or at least not successfully. <laughs> it feels like a big waste of ink just to throw it out there. I should be using them more for maneuverability at this point. And then if we can get some more damage up and stuff, I think they'll be a little bit more useful for that. I've had some success with the aerospray using burst bombs and the Kraken in Splatoon 1. Let's see. Gotta keep up with the chat here. There's a lot of people chatting. I do appreciate, yeah, all these comments and thoughts because there's a lot of, uh, a lot of footage out there now, so I think people are starting to formulate their thoughts a little bit more than the yesterday. It's so, f yeah, I can't believe we've done five of these streams of this weekend already, and it's only been a little over 24 hours since the first one, so they're really bam, bam, bam. And we do have one more left. Okay, splatter shot for one more match, then I'll switch over to the charger, and uh, we'll see how we do with that. People are getting better at this game already, so it's like... Using the charger feels a, li a little bit of a risk. We'll let them go that way. So we've got a charger. They do not have one. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, chase him. Ah, man. I really gotta, yeah, follow their... I think my aim is not that great because I'm trying to shoot where they are and not following them as much. I need to be leading my shots a little better because people are maneuvering around, obviously. That's uh, that's the big... My big resolution with Splatoon 2 is taking more time to play weapons that I maybe am not as used to. Like uh, the shooters, that's the that's the the uh, disadvantage of focusing on the brushes so much for me is that I haven't had the practice with the shooter weapons that I would have if I switched what weapons I was using more frequently, you know. So it's a little a little bad that we're getting new shooter weapons and I have to have to get back to uh, having enough practice to actually be effective with them. They're gonna move in on me there. Where'd they go? There they are. Okay, I strafed with them and got them that time. But yeah, my aim is uh, a little rusty, so I do apologize for that, but getting more time with the dualies and the splatter shot and everything should help me quite a bit. Threw that one in to help them. <laughs> Got a little bit of support on there. Okay. Yeah, the Tenta missiles, as long as you have maneuverability and no one's, like, around you, pretty easy to avoid. But again, low risk to use, so I do like that. Oh, man. I don't think I would have escaped that either way because I got hit with the missiles. Uh, the other two specials we have seen that are not in the test fire. I'm very curious how those are going to work. We have the giant rain cloud that moves across the battlefield and rains ink down. And then we also have the uh, the bomb rush, the new version of the bomb rush that's a launcher. So it'll be interesting to see how that works. Ooh. I'm going to jump around here and maybe hit him. Nope! Ah, man! I should have been watching the bridge because I got pincered. Inky is giving me a lot of trouble. Uh, so Chow Walker, we're going to see the stingray here soon. She's talking about the... Uh, they're, they're talking about the Chow... The, uh, chows. Yeah, we're gonna have chow, uh, chow races. No. The, uh, the stingray is gonna be very scary once people get more practice with it. It already is pretty, pretty, uh, intimidating when you see that come out of nowhere. And, uh, ooh, speaking of that, I gotta get out of here. I'm not gonna be able to use my special. Oh, get him. Yeah, all right. That was close. Okay, let's throw some of those down quick. Get that guy, maybe. There's another one there. Nice. All right, the Tenta Missiles with the assist. Okay, this is the time to really push, because most of their team is dead. This is going to be the time to uh, see if we can take them out here. They really respawn fast, but they do have quick respawn on, of course. Okay, push in, push in. That's a friendly splat bomb, luckily. Whoop. Get him, get him, get him. There we go. He couldn't use his Tenta Missile. I really hope we uh, got enough ink there in the end. I landed right next to the Inkling girl with the box art hair. Shooting off that Tenta missile. We might have this. No! Yeah, they really, they covered enough of their area well enough, and we didn't get as much of the center. That was a close match, though. Okay, time to switch over to the... Swap over to the... Uh, <laughs> with the charger. Gotta avoid the corniness of saying switch a lot. And uh, someone said, is there anything about spectator mode? We saw some matches with, the, with spectator mode from the developers, but no... You know, this is a demo, so we don't have all the options available to us. You can mess with controls and things like that and an ink lock with the color and everything, but past that, you, you know, what you see is what you get here with this, and uh, eventually we will be able, you know, we can test that out, I'm sure, in the full game, but I don't know if they're going to add that to a test fire. I'd like to see how spectator mode is going to... We've We kind of got a nice look of it. I did a video on that if you didn't see it, so if you are curious about spectator mode, it allows two extra players to watch the map and uh, watch the match and actually go in an overhead view or jump around between players, and it's really cool. I'm glad that they're adding that in to kind of 
up the chances of Splatoon really being embraced as a competitive sport and having, you know, tournaments and stuff. I'd love to see that stuff become much more popular. Uh, let's see. When enemies are targeting... Chow Walker, always with the tips. When enemies are targeting you with Tenta Missiles, you can hold still where you know you can maneuver. Yeah, so that's the uh, the thing I've seen a couple people mention is, like, maybe hold off, off until the missiles are raining down and then move. That way you don't spread their ink all over the place for them. And then uh, Sally wants to see more specials come back. Unfortunately, you know, they are going to be all new, but some of them could be the revamped ones, like the Bomb Rush. And Seekers, Echolocator Bomb Rush. We are getting Bomb Rush, but Seekers, I feel like the Curling Bomb is the new replacement for that. And then uh, Echolocator. I don't know if that's going to happen. I feel like we might just have point sensors, which I'd be a little happier with because... As a player that plays a brush, which needs to be sneaky to actually get around, it feels like getting tracked is obviously the worst thing for that. And we'll see. I, I have a feeling the brushes might get a couple buffs, but we'll have to see ultimately. At least they'll get... They're going to get, like, the piddliest little vertical flick, maybe. <laughs> but at the same time, if it's enough to uh, to let you swim in there and get a little more ink, like, even if it's, like, a really tiny charger shot sort of flick, it would be nice to get one on the ink brush. Or they could just keep spinning in the air and they just make this like pinwheel as they go across the battlefield. No, <laughs> they got the rolling ability. They don't need that. That would be ridiculous looking. Okay, two chargers on my side, one on the other. This does not spell a uh, victory for the, uh, the Cyan team here, but we're gonna see how it goes. I'll try my best, but yeah. Typically, especially in this demo, having multiple chargers on your team, unless they're really good, we might have some trouble. I'm gonna try my best to lock this spot down back here for me to actually snipe from. Okay, and I'll throw a bomb in. Seems like we're doing okay so far. I do have my stingray. Someone's over there. I get him in time. Fire through the wall. Somebody else got him for me. So yeah, the stingray, you really need to like, okay, this is where I want to shoot and focus on that rather than changing targets like I just did because you saw how slow that turned. It takes quite a few hits to actually take someone down as well. Man, someone, one of our other Charger seems to know what they're doing. Maybe I could move up a little bit and uh, try to snipe from over here because it feels like they're taking people down well enough. I've got a spot where I need to throw that bomb. Maybe get one of them and then... Oh! <laughs> that was not good. I can always squid and... Oh! I thought I had him there potentially. Need to get out of here. Go, go, go! There's someone over there. Oh, nope, didn't quite get him, and somebody's behind me, aren't they? No, oh, man, throw that down and just get out best I can. They're going to be following me all the way. There we go. Managed to survive that. I really need to get out of here. Using those bombs, I had somebody, somebody do that on me and reminded me that I should really use the splat bombs to get out of the way. Run those. Let's try to throw this at them while they're using the Stingray. So that's very tough to avoid when... Uh, when you are not able to move that much with the Stingray. So I, I was like, I'll get the drop on them with mine. So they were using theirs. Oops, that slid a little too far for me. Okay, I need to get into a better sniping position, because otherwise I'm not going to be able to do this very well. Yep. He's going to drop down, and maybe I can hit him. Oop. Nope. Oh my gosh. This is bad. <laughs> get out. Throw the bomb. Uh, I don't know if I threw my... Ah, uh, we got two people jumping. <laughs> uh, that, that was real bad for my team, because we could have gotten an easy splat on them. Um, if that was not them jumping in as well and taking over there. But yeah, the uh, the splat bomb, I should have taken that out before I... Ooh. Oh, man, I really got to work on my aim a little bit more, obviously. Jeez. Oh, thought I hit him. Ah, jeez. Yeah, this is a bad match for me, Charger-wise. I've had some better ones in previous test fires, but I will preface again with the fact that my Charger is not my favorite weapon. You know, of all the weapons in here, I definitely play the Charger the least. So I can get in and maybe take them out. Nope, it's not gonna work. Gotta go. Get him with it. <laughs> yeah, the bomb was not gonna be enough. They're all over us, and I doubt we have enough ink. So, yep, yeah, there we go. Two chargers, like I said, especially when one's not as practiced like I am. Uh, yeah, I'm not very practiced is what I meant. I'm going to gonna be bringing down the team a little bit. I think one charger is ideal. But, yeah, the other one was doing pretty well. I got a lot of splats. Just couldn't compete with uh, 
the multiple duelies on their team. Let's go to back to the duelies, because, yeah, I feel feel like Charger, I do need practice on it, but this is kind of a rough time to practice, because you're just in the middle of a match. There's no, no target practice other than live Inklings walking around. Let's see. Yeah, trying to... So, Chow Walker also saying use a Splat Bomb under a uh, somebody using the Splashdown. You could probably even throw a Suction Bomb, and by the time they land, it will probably... I don't think it make It doesn't make you immune to damage, so I don't think it would destroy a bomb. And you would probably be able to actually just take them out with it by the time that... You know, it might even explode and blast them before they even land, making it tough for them to actually survive that easily. Jump in and throw one of these down. We got someone going around the other side, though, so I gotta be careful of them. I see you guys over there. Okay, I'm gonna hang out and then move, move, move before that all lands on me. That is a big risk to my teammates, though, if I do that sort of thing, because right up. Ooh, I don't have enough ink for it. Ah, uh, it did bounce back. Man, this is gonna be tough, because I've got a sniper right there. Oh, they're throwing their ink their stingray at me. Get him, get him! Oh! And there's one. Oh my gosh. I'm in a bad spot. And there's a uh, inkjet going around. Oh no. Can I defend the bridge? Only if that other spot is safe enough for me to go back. Okay. Don't want to get flanked by anyone. Let's hold this down and just throw it right out. Nope. Didn't quite work. Ah man. That roll didn't help me from the splatter shot. Kind of delayed my shots enough where they took me out fast enough. That wasn't a good. That wasn't a good choice there. Because the splatter shot does more damage. Okay, go, go, go. Let's see if we can move back in here. Ooh, gotta get out of the way. Man, did I get multiple Tenta missiles on me there at the same time? Because look at this guy. There we go. That was real close and almost very bad for me. Throw some down here because they're right in my face. Whoop. Jump back and hold this. Throw that down as they move in. Nope. <laughs> Talk about my strat as I do it. <laughs> it's helping me focus a little more, probably. Jeez. This bridge is really dicey here. That splatter shot's just kind of staying back, so I don't know if they're going to move in as much as they normally could. Whoop. Get them. They walked right off the side there. I guess they weren't risking that curling bomb taking them out. Nope. Throwing curly bombs all over the place. They know I'm right here, so probably shouldn't step out there. Oh, that in. Yeah, this is not looking good for the yellow team so much. Alright, special time. Try my best to get more turf here. Somewhere right there. Get this side area. Yeah. <laughs> so many curling bombs. So much stuff going all over the place comes that shot. Oh man, splatter shot just destroyed me there. Within like a couple shots, that's definitely more powerful than the duelies. We gotta, gotta get that roll to get more damage on the duelies, but I wasn't expecting it to just be like bam bam bam, dead. Before I could even react much. Okay, squids react to getting shot in the face. Go, go, go! <laughs> Let's see. Yep, yeah. we started to pull it back a little bit there, but... Definitely not the uh, the finest duelies match I've had. I'm going to do another one. See if I can bring it back. Yeah, I don't know. what We had every weapon. We had every chance to be the most balanced team. And look what happened. Had some tough tough uh, matchups there with the, uh, the splatter shots. All right. Fresh lobby here as I dejectedly spin my one duely. I love that loss animation, though, where he just kind of spins it around. Uh, do the sp Splat Dooley seem to do more, less, or equal damage to the Splatter Shot? S Ivy. They seem to do less because you need more shots, so you want to get that roll so you focus fire into one reticle and take people down quicker, but it's just a matter of being able to roll and actually get your shots accurate enough. It's going to take some practice, I think, before I can really do that. Uh, Burke asks, do you think the Switch will sell better than the Wii? I don't know, because the Switch is probably has less uh, mainstream appeal for people that don't want to play games normally, that just want to bowl with the Wiimote. So I don't know if it will sell as well as the Wii. I think it's going to do pretty well, though, just because it has a lot of appeal of a portable system that actually looks good and uh, runs well at home, too. You know, I like that concept a lot, and I think it's going to 
going to do well in the long run, especially because they're putting out so many games on it. Like, they're going to have a lot of games, even just this first year. It's nice to have Mario, Zelda, Splatoon, Mario Kart, new stuff like ARMS. It's like, they're covering a lot of bases, and it's also, yeah, a big weakness that Nintendo has had in, in past systems and generations is not having enough games because they got to have a lot of first-party titles. So, yeah, I am happy to see how many games have been announced and shown so far. Let's bounce that down there. Maybe it'll hit whoever's walking around. So this is a very, yeah, oh, I got him, okay. I was gonna say, it's pretty tough to actually aim the inkjet up into that side little spot that you can get up on. I feel like I've had very little success with hitting people like sniper, you know, chargers up on that spot. But I managed to hit him that time, getting some practice in, aiming it. Let's throw one of those in. I'm gonna cover this. Ooh, and they're right there, so I should be able to. Nope. <laughs> well, Demi still got me with the flick in time, but I really should have maybe rolled over to the side where they weren't expecting me and then shot him, because that maybe would have taken him out. But I still, yeah, we had ample time to prepare for them to land and get out of the way, so that's a big weakness of the, the regular splashdown that doesn't involve super jumping. Oh, this is not gonna be good. Oh, they're right there. Or they were, at least. There they go. They really dipped out. Let's see if we can hold this bridge well enough. We got someone behind us, though. Gonna make it really tough. Here we go. I stopped them before they could use their special. The best feeling. Okay. Oh, jeez. What was that? And where did that come from? Was that a... They don't have any chargers. I'm not really sure where that was uh, originating from. Someone down there. We can stop these guys. They're all over this place. I dipped down. That was not the best use of the. Uh... Oh, right there. That was not the best use of my uh, inkjet, for sure. Where are you guys going? Get him, get him, get him. Oh, nope, no, no. Ah, jeez. In a bad, bad way here. Ah, and I was right under him. That was not good. You couldn't decide which person to try to target because I had multiple guys all in that little area there. Trying to catch some of the side ink spots that are not covered. We're not doing too bad, though. Whoop. Let's see if we can stop whoever's waiting here. They just rolled off immediately, maybe. Looks like. Here comes somebody up the wall. There we go. All right, good, you're good. They would have had him anyways. I really, yeah. When you double up on someone that someone else has already taken down, it can be a bit unfortunate. Oh, here come the uh, Tenta missiles. Person jumped over. Trying to watch the sides here. Nope. Ah, man. The, the same thing happened where I was so close that he just took me out so fast because there's powerful shots. How are we doing? No. This is going to be sad if we don't manage to get this because the, uh, the middle got taken over. Mm, I don't know. Who's to say? Only a cat can decide. Oh, yeah, all right. Still did it. Good, good, good. Okay, yeah, we had another pretty balanced team. Oh, no, never mind. We had three dually. <laughs> it worked out, even with three dually players. And they, yeah, they definitely had uh, some good players as well, so I'm glad that we prevailed. Okay. A couple more matches here, and we'll be done. Thank you guys again. If you have any more questions, you know, between matches, let me know, and I will look at the chat when I got a chance. But the lobby's filling up fast. Seems a bit busier tonight than some of the other ones, because it's a good time. Saturday night, you know. Let's see. What do you like about playing Splatoon, says G Cool. Yeah, a lot of people are curious, like, what's the big deal? Or what's the appeal to Splatoon? I think that's it's also one of those games where maybe watching it, you might not get the full experience so much compared to certain other games. Like, obviously playing the game, that's the best way to experience it, usually. Unless it's something that's really story-driven, maybe, and you're just watching it like a movie. But the, uh, the spectating element of Splatoon, it might be kind of tough to see if uh, if it's something that you can uh, get into just from watching it. You really have to try to experience this. this whoa, trying to get the... Whoa. My chat is going crazy. Alright, I gotta get into it though. <laughs> no time to uh, no time to mess with that. I'm, we got the cool ink color. This is Aqua. I kept calling it... Excuse me, man. I kept calling it Squid Girl Blue. But it's definitely an aqua color. And uh, I need a drink of water, but this is the worst time for that. Because we're in the middle of a match. Get him, get him, get him. Ooh, they're going to get out of here before I can do much. So I might as well aim in some other spots. Ooh, got one more in there. Let's throw a 
curling bomb quickly before we get taken out. I hear lots of lots of stuff. Oops, somebody just went through the grate. Oh man. Five streams down, I definitely need to get some water here between this next match. <laughs> between this match and the next one, because my voice is starting to go. That's what happens when you have to talk for a long time and try to blast people with curling stones. <laughs> so I was like, finally, the Canadians have a Splatoon weapon. I'm not sure actually where curling originated. Is it probably like a Nordic thing? But, uh, oh, get someone down there. Yeah, see, the shots can be really close to them and still not take them out because it's oh, tough to actually land a uh, powerful enough blast to... Yeah, it feels like the curling bomb's stronger than the shots of the inkjet. Like, they could be a little away from it and not get, not get splatted. But then you got a curling bomb, and it's like, you don't want to be anywhere near that. And it will explode if it happens. Yeah, that's the, that's the advantage of the curling bomb, because it doesn't damage you much just by running into you. It has to be near you when it's uh, going off to actually do that extra damage. Throw one of those in there. I really got to push to get in the middle here. Even though it's scary. Ooh. Someone trying to inkjet for that down there. Oh, they're actually gonna jump right back here somewhere, right? Get him, get him! Whoop! Whoop! They're going up. Oh man! That was. I hate when that happens where I'm like in a one on one duel and somebody's like, sorry, you're distracted, you're dead. <laughs> and it's always like, man, I probably could have gotten out of that, but. Oh well. Oh, I really wanna focus on getting these duly shots well enough! Ah! No way to escape that, I felt like I was in the center of it. Go, go, go! We're in a bad situation here in terms of turf coverage. I don't think we're gonna have enough in the end to win this. But if we hurry, maybe we can take it back. Someone's in the back. There's that guy that got me before. Come back. Come back, little roller. Throw that out and maybe he'll walk into it. <laughs> if I'm lucky, but I doubt it. I'm trying to get enough turf coverage to uh, get this. Match finished on a strong note, but no, they saw where I jumped. That's the big weakness of the... One of the big weaknesses, other than being a huge target of the inkjet, is that they can just see where you're going to land and take you out. And I think they pushed enough on our spawn to stop us from getting that victory. Yeah, there's a lot of pink in our turf. <laughs> That's for sure. Mm, yeah, that was a bigger, bigger deficit than I thought we were going to have. I thought it was a little closer, but pink definitely had that one. Okay, let me get back to... Let me get some water here, so I'm going to mute for a second. Let me jump back into the chat as well. Okay, I'm refreshed. I'm ready to go back into this next match. It's going to be one of the last, though. We are running out of time. 10 minutes until it ends. We can maybe get one extra match after it ends or a couple, but it's, uh, it's a little up in the air whether they're going to boot everybody. But we have one more of these left. If you did miss any of the others so far, please check them out if you're watching this later and whatnot. But we've got another one at 7 a.m. on Sunday morning tomorrow. You know, it's already almost tomorrow, but for me it's 7 a.m., so check your local time zone and uh, maybe tune in if you're up. I do appreciate it. Phoenix lost, Phoenix lost by 0.5%. Uh, I've seen a couple screenshots of really close matches like that, so definitely can happen. All right, I'm going to try to really push myself to play a little better this time. I think I was not on my A game. I was thinking about my uh, parched, my poor parched throat. <laughs> getting a little bit more water before I, uh, before I was getting into the battle there. Okay. We mostly got this covered well enough. This is when, if someone's going down to this side area. Throwing a curling bomb might catch him. Oh, he's gonna come after me here in the center. Potentially. Where is everybody? They didn't lose someone, did they? We haven't had too many, you know, situations of someone dropping out in this one so far. There we go. Get them. They got him. <laughs> as long as somebody gets him. I gotta get used to rolling more, though. Try to use that well enough to, uh, Actually, help my help my teammates a little bit more than I was last time. Just careful. We got suction bombs. We also have an inkjet flying through. 
I gotta defend the bridge, though. It's like, yeah, can't abandon it. Even if it's scary because there's a roller pushing his way through to the center. He got out of there, like, immediately. Okay. Oh, nope. Ah, man. Wasn't paying attention to the bridge. I kind of went in a bad way. Someone over there. Oh, luckily we're out. I do actually like that a lot, even though people might be able to find where you're going to jump to. The fact that you don't just land and get taken out. Oh, man. Ooh. Nope. Get him, get him. Oh, man. That made, made it look like I really survived there, but I didn't even... <laughs> I didn't... I was too far away to actually take any of those guys out, but luckily we had somebody helping that did the job for me. Okay, now I'm going to move in here. Try to push into their turf as best I can. Just going to jump down. Get him with that curling bomb. That didn't quite work out as well as I wanted, though. Yeah, every time I... I'm like in a showdown with somebody and then somebody else takes him out for me. Which is good for the team, but bad for me practicing my roles and uh, managing to get some more... Jeez. There we go. Managing to get more uh, practice with rolling and taking out enemies that way. Go, go, go. Fatigue has set in a little bit, but I still feel... Yeah, I'm excited for the next stream and uh, to continue playing a little bit more. It's going to be sad when these are over, but I hope you've been enjoying them. Down to one of the final matches of this one, though. Orange team is really struggling to uh, push in much, so I think we got this. But I'd like to get in at least one more showdown with somebody to see if I can take them out and use my dually skills that are developing slowly but surely. Okay, kind of hang out and wait for those to all fall down. There we go. I don't know if they can push in because we got this so well covered, so I might not get another opportunity here to do too much. But he's got to be down here, right? Man, yeah, I don't know if I got any splats that weren't curling bomb related or inkjet. I don't think I really shot too much. <laughs> shot a lot of ink for coverage. That is Turf Wars after all, but there we go. Knock that cute kitten on his rump, and we won. Let's see. So Ethan, yeah, we're, we got another stream. He's asking when we're going to stream again. I got one splat. The other team, yeah, they were really carrying us pretty well. Let's do one more match here before the time is up, hopefully. And we'll finish the stream. Oh, I was looking at the stream time. We started a little bit before the hour, so we might get two matches in. We'll have to see. If I'm lucky, we won't get m matched up against uh, Kurbutashi, because he was doing really well. Um, if you need more height with the inkjet, hover over the short walls. Even though they're thin, they can elevate you. Oh, nice. So yeah, going over like the the reef, the bridge, having those little little barriers on the wall of the bridge. I'll have to try that because that would give me a slight boost. I think I'm just got to get used to the fact that I can't just move around freely. I'll dip down if I go to lower terrain, obviously. All right, I gotta I gotta really try to focus on this because we're going against the guy that went eight zero in the last match and definitely was key to us winning so decisively. I'm gonna try my best to. Uh, Keep this going. Didn't aim that too well. My aim, yeah, I wonder if I should adjust the sensitivity because I've got a lot of aiming situations where I'm like slightly to the right or slightly to the left. You can do that on the weapon select screen, luckily. One of those down in the middle because we got a roller on the way over. There we go. There we go. Got him. All right. Try to keep this side area locked down best I can, but also throw some uh, curling bombs down the center. They don't have a char- well, yeah, they don't have a charger. I keep confusing the dually icon for the charger. You can see him at the top there. But the duallys kind of look a little like a charger in some ways. Throw that out and don't get hit by the curling bomb, obviously. Ah, uh, no! Man, I was right up against him, both of us firing. I guess they got their shots in faster and took me out. Now, now they're trying to spawn camp with their inkjet. Hopefully we can get around them and take them out before they... Oh, they're back somewhere. Okay, careful, careful, careful! Whoop. Let's jump up and uh, see if I can stop wherever that menace is hiding. Oh, man, that was a weird... Yeah, I don't know if you guys saw that weird stutter that I haven't seen too much so far. Oh, get him, get him! There we go, okay. I think that was the guy that I'm worried about that got me before, you know, that was on my team, but it's doing a really good job for his his team. Oh my gosh, I'm out of ink. Maybe that curling bomb will explode next to him. Yep, it did. <laughs> they were running backwards, so I was kind of like, okay, they might throw that curling, or that might, curling bomb might work out for me, ultimately. Ooh. 
Put that down, and hopefully we can stop. I'm really worried about people sneaking up on the other sides, because having some troubles with uh, watching all three of the main ways people can, can go. Get him, get him, get him! Uh, hold that a little bit, and then maybe take him out while they're running into the corner. There we go. Throw those down. We can stop that guy. The roller jumping in. Nope, did not work so well. If I get a lot, enough ink here, I could probably take him down in time. Yeah, there we go. So worried about running out of ink a lot of the time by using the curling bomb and, and rolling, because it's definitely something where you got to be watching that ink meter. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> bad, bad times there with the Tenta missiles locked on. Okay, okay, okay. Which way they're going? This could work out if we are quick here. No! I was not watching the other way. That's going to be so much turf. Somebody look out for Angel. Get him! <laughs> Man, that is really unfortunate because I felt like we might have had the, the win there. Locking down the center. We'll see. Yeah, and then Angel moved in. Took me out from behind. And lots of turf was lost. Okay. Let's see if we can get one more match in. Because we got like another minute. See if we can get one more to finish up. Didn't do too bad. I was actually top of my team there, so just unfortunate that I had some really good players against us, <laughs> making it really tough. But yeah, that's trial by fire to get good with the duelies and the new changes and everything. All right. So people have been adding me. I've been accepting uh, uh, Sport Nugget was saying, thanks for accepting me. So anyone I've been playing with, you can add me pretty easily on Switch by, you know, going to the recently played people, I think. It's a little dicey right now where there's not as many ways to add people and uh, there's still like a friend code thing at this point But I think they're gonna add new ways to add people in the future I don't know what the friend limit is, but I am gonna try to do the same thing that we've done before with Mario Kart Splatoon 2, you know Smash Brothers inevitably and add as many people as I can to play on streams and whatnot So that is something to look forward to Mario Kart's coming up quick next month and then we have arms as well in uh, sometime in the spring Let's see. <laughs> Chow Walker's like, you didn't read my one name, the my name the one time with the tip about the ink wall, or uh, using the ink jet on the wall. Sorry about that, Chow Walker. But you've you've contributed a ton of tips, so I think that people might have been able to guess who was saying that. Sally wants to see a squid party. Well, we don't really have too much time left. We got Santos in here for one last match. Okay, I think this is gonna be it. Either way, we'll probably get booted after this. Thanks for watching, guys. Again, check out the other streams if you haven't. Check out those fat pigeons. They're cool looking. And the uh, <laughs> the whole aesthetic. Yeah, I really like the look of this place. It definitely feels like Urchin Underpass in a way with the, with the little gulf in the center. But it definitely has its own aesthetic with the skateboard shop and everything. There's a lot of, a lot of new looks uh, to this, this, uh, this part of Inkopolis. And I'm curious to see, yeah, how many different map ideas they come up with and what we're going to see when they start adding the uh, the newer maps and everything. Oh my gosh, no! Ah! I shouldn't have squitted. I should have just committed. <laughs> shouldn't have squitted. Should have committed. Because Panda, I would have taken them out there if they hadn't squitted to try to get out of the way. Kind of freaked out a little bit from the... the uh, oop, get him. From the uh, Tenta missiles firing. I probably would have been fine if I had just focused enough to get him. Let's see if I can jump up and uh, take him out in time. There we go. Alright. Now I'm in a really bad spot. I'm like towards the center with no one no one uh, to defend me. There we go. Okay. Get all that. And then quick, quick, quick. Send some curling bombs down to cover that area. Look out! Somebody's in the center there. If I could jump up and maybe get him from a different spot. Ooh, nice. Did they get him? Hard to tell. Okay, go, go, go. A lot of, I, I definitely don't look enough up to the uh, the weapons and who's dead, who's alive, all that stuff when we're in the middle of a match. Go, go, go. Let's see if we can dip down and scare them away a little bit. Nope, they're right up here with me. Ah! Oh my gosh. Where'd they go? Did somebody get them? Because I don't think I did. The Tenta missiles were scaring me. How many splatter shots do they have? Because there's Tenta missiles all over this place, constantly firing. I talked about how that special seems to build up a lot faster than most of the others, so there's a good example of that. Here we go. I feel like I helped with that. 
super paranoid about getting rolled over. Oh, no, no rollers on the other team, so I don't have to worry about a roller sneaking up on me, at least. There we go. All right. Let's keep this place well inked and keep my inkjet ready to go as best I can. Uh, anybody hiding around here? That's a friendly inkjet, luckily. I might just hold on to my inkjet. Nice. <laughs> might hold on to my inkjet until the uh, final moments here to see if I can get some more turf coverage if we need it instead of just throwing it out there. Although, we got an inkjet doing their own thing over here. Get him. There we go. And look out. Someone just super jumped away. We got a lot of purple ink here in the center. But we, I don't like seeing. Get out. <laughs> go, go, go. Cover this. Last few seconds. Okay. Of the last match of the... Oh, no. And I hate to see that because they're going to take the bridge. I don't know where all my buddies were, but I was the only one there on the bridge, unfortunately. So we might not get this in the end. Go, 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 go. Let's see if I can get in and cover some of this. Quick, quick, quick. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Desperately trying to get turf as they pushed in, and that might be a lot. Yeah, it definitely is. They just completely... Yeah, we had most of that locked down and then flipped in the last 30 seconds or so. But that's how it goes on these smaller maps. I don't know what was going... What happened there, I think one or two deaths and it just completely changed the, the uh, pace of the map. We had to go against some of the really good guys again. Alright, if we don't get another one, that's going to be it. Thanks for watching guys. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. Maybe subscribe if you haven't. One more ahead and I'll see you then for more Splatoon 2. Goodbye.